Money Maker, that mom with a laser here. And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to revamp the very first thing that I ever made with a laser. And that is this geometric door hanger that I made for my little girl's nursery. I am so in love with it. And I thought, you know what? This would be really great as Valentine's Day decor. So I revamped it, gave it a different color scheme, put some Valentine's Day appropriate wording on it, and I just love it. So I'm just gonna show you how I put it together. You ready? Let's go. So I feel like I've done enough pink and I wanna switch it up. So I'm gonna do something a little fabulous today. Um, and I just wanted to point out a few things with these two different pieces. This was the very first one I ever made and I made this with two pieces of a quarter inch wood, okay? And then this one I did with two pieces of eighth of an inch wood and both, both thicknesses work just fine with the file, just FYI. If you wanna know how I get this really pretty shimmer, I use the Martha Stewart um, metallic paints. I love these. And I always do like a base of white first, and then I use a makeup sponge brush and I go over the white so that way I can stretch out the life of this. If not, if I don't start with a base, then it uses like half of the bottle for one project. So just FYI. So today I'm gonna do like a silver and black color scheme. I'm gonna make the stencil with black paint, which I already have this pre-painted. And if you wanna see how I pre-paint my wood, make sure you watch this video here. Then I have this beautiful silver linen acrylic. I have mirrored silver acrylic and I already have pre-painted white. And I even have dun, 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 some painted silver. So the only tricky part is I only have a few pieces that are already pre-painted. So I'm gonna have to you know, position my pieces so that they fit right in there. So other than that, I think it's gonna look really pretty Let's get started. All right, so I have the compressor on and I am just kind of winging this, but basically what I've done is I looked at this piece and I'm gonna take where I have the smallest bits since I don't have that much to work with here. And it looks like my white pieces are the smallest. So I took them out of my heart here on my bird and I'm squishing them together so that they kind of look like they'll fit right here. Normally, I don't have extra pieces, but I am making these as kits. So I took the little pieces and I'm sizing it and now I'm gonna wing it and hope I fall within these parameters when I cut it. If I mess up, I have one little spot here of pre-painted wood that I can work with. So wish me luck. So I'm gonna send the job over to the controller and I'm gonna frame my job to make sure that it's gonna fall right within those parameters of where I have my painted wood.
to glue it all together and assemble it. So I've got two layers here. This is my top layer and my bottom layer. And I'm gonna use Tight Bond Original today. I like to put it into these little fine tip squeeze bottles. I get this at Hobby Lobby. Just gives me a little more control over the glue. And when I'm squeezing it out, it doesn't hurt my thumb, it's not too harsh. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, very simply put some glue on. And this is for me, so I'm not being like super careful or anything, but just enough. I'm gonna definitely put it along the outer edge here just like that. And I don't think the inside is gonna be necessary since I've got glue on these big parts here. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it down just like that. Try not to move it. And you'll notice I still have the masking tape on it. I like to leave the masking tape on until the very end because I just find that my hands get sticky with glue and it just helps me keep everything cleaner longer. So normally I might just wait a few minutes, but since I'm here with you guys, I want to show you how I'm just going to assemble it. So we're going to go for it. Now, I think I'm going to glue my wooden parts first. And this part is just easy because then I just put the glue onto the heart and then set all my little pieces in. And you get the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the wood and then I'll show you how I glue the acrylic. it's time to put in my acrylic pieces. Now remember I used 3M adhesive tape. So this is double sided tape, right? I took off one layer, I glued it to the back. Now all I need to do is just peel off the other side and then it's going to be nice and sticky. I don't know if you can see it kind of glimmer. That is the adhesive. And now I'm just going to kind of put it in place. So I don't even have to work with glue now just like that. So easy. That's why I love 3M, but it's not, you know, it's definitely not cheap. <laughs> so I try to save it for small projects, not anything too big. There we go. And what's nice about it too is, you know, finding glue that doesn't show through the other side with acrylic can be tricky. So the 3M on the acrylic is nice and smooth, it's nice and even, so you can't tell that there's glue underneath it, which I like a lot. So that's it, I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting on the rest of the pieces, and then we can peel up the masking. Look at it, so pretty. I could put something over it, but I think I'm just gonna leave it like this, I love it. And uh, I'm sure you can see the camera reflection in the mirror acrylic, but it's kind of cool. Looking pretty good, I like it. All right, so there's one more thing I wanna show you. I did show you earlier that I am selling these as kits, and there are a lot of little pieces in here that can fall out in shipping. So one of the things I wanna do is make sure it stays all together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use what's called a shrink wrap bag. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my piece right into the bag. And you'll see how cool this is in just a second. Let me get it through here. Okay, there we go. Move that over a little bit. And I think I'm even gonna stick my little paint brushes underneath on the bottom and I'll show you why I do that. And it'll make sense in just a minute. Let's, I'm gonna stick that right under there like that. Okay, very cool. Now I got a pretty big bag here, so I'm also gonna trim it down a little bit. Now I will cut these in bulk, but I wanted to do one at a time just to show you. 
Okay, and then I am going to very carefully um, fold this stuff over to the back. And I could flip it over, but I don't want my little pieces to fall out. And so I'm gonna do this kind of funky. <laughs> but it's okay, you'll see why in just a minute. So I am gonna use a heat gun and I'm gonna use it on the lowest setting because I found on the higher setting, it just burns through the plastic. And I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube. Nobody talks about venting, but there is a little bit of a smell. So I'm gonna make sure that when I do this, I have, I'm in a room that's well vented. And then from a distance, because I don't want it to burn through the plastic, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And you're gonna see, it's gonna start to tighten around my piece. Ooh. Kind of cool, huh? And now, all my puzzle pieces are kept together. It's not gonna be moving around. Then I'm gonna flip it over. And now it's really gonna scrunch up. See there, I got too close. I'm still learning how to use this, but I think it's pretty cool. And it's gonna make for a much better presentation. Check it out. Oh, see, it's a little crumbly. So I think I could probably go over it a little more and get it even smoother. So it's gonna take a little bit of practice, but I really like what it's gonna do here and it's gonna keep everything together. Sweet. Okay, so there I go. I have a shrink wrapped piece all well put together. They've got everything they need. And since this is for Valentine's Day, you know what? I'm gonna get extra cutesy. <laughs> I'm gonna fold it up with some wrapping paper right here, or tissue paper, Valentine's Day themed tissue paper just make it feel extra special because you know I'm running a handmade business here and I feel like you know it's different when you're buying handmade and I want somebody to experience that and enjoy it from the moment they open it up so I've got little thank you stickers I just got them off of Amazon I'm probably gonna get even cuter ones later on but there we go that's not the best I'm kind of under pressure here because I know I'm being recorded <laughs> but you get the idea okay and I just want it to look nice when they get it. So <laughs> there's my attempt at better packaging. This is, listen, it may not be pre perfect, but it's way better than what I've been doing. And then obviously I'm going with my brand colors here. I like nice little soft feminine pink. Stick it right into my package. And then I will label it and ship it off to my customers. So hopefully they'll have a nice experience when they open it up and they, they see their little Valentine's Day themed package. So that's it, we're done. Well, Maker, that's it for today. This project turned out to be pretty simple considering I had so much pre-painted wood that actually fell within the color scheme of what I wanted to work with. I think this piece turned out really beautiful. It's, it's almost like a mosaic, totally different from the other ones that I've made in the past. So that's it. I hope you got something out of this today. And if you have any questions, let me know below. Also, is there anything you wanna see me make? I have a really long list of content, but I wanna make sure that I put your needs at the very top of that list. So let me know below, follow me on social media if you don't already, and I'll see you guys here soon over at That Mom with a laser. Mm -hmm.